Nerd School is a member of the Queen City Podcast Network, powered by Ortho Carolina. Now offering video visits so you can take control of your orthopedic care from the comfort of your home. Schedule online at orthocarolina.com. Ortho Carolina, you improve. Hey, fellows. It's the first night of all of the season. Nerd roll. Nerd roll. Oh, my glasses are broken. And this will begin season two of Nerd School. <laughs> it's it's going to be crazy stunts. We're going to no. have some stunts. Joe's going to bring more penis jokes. No, no penis no. stuff. I am a super nerd. The Nerd School Podcast. Starring Andy. Star Spangle Bam to the plan. Maybe well, I'll no. try to do a cartwheel. TBJ. Well, congratulations. You did dirt. Ta-da. I got to change. All my exes can tune in. We can have an episode oh, where I compare them to all the Marvel villains. We can do that. Art star. Yep. I <laughs> don't love Wiener. I'm just trying to make money. Lord <laughs> Art of his pride. No. Yeah, my real name is Joe. Did I ever tell you about the time I hung out with uh, DMC at Mertz? The Nerd School Podcast. So John Cena is in the new Suicide Squad movie, is what you're saying? Yeah, he's been working for years to to get to rock status. I don't know if he can. I don't know if anyone can. Yeah, the rock is a very unique sort of thing. Uh, Cena can get some goodwill, I think. Suicide Squad is the DC thing with the Harley Quinn person and other people. Yeah, she's a part of it. And Will Smith. In the movie she is. I don't know if she was ever really in it in the comic books, but uh, well... These days, yeah. So well, Suicide like Squad was a comic, as everything is first. Yes. Yeah. The concept Almost being everything. Uh, a government agency <laughs> enlists supervillains who are incarcerated to do uh, black ops work. Task mm-hmm. Force X. It's called oh. Task Force X. They don't actually call it Suicide Squad. It's kind of a nickname. Oh. And, but they force them to do it by putting inserting bombs into their brain so if they if they try if to they, escape yeah. while doing the mission they explode they'll just their blow heads. up their heads yeah. so they show you haven't seen the movie uh uh-uh. uh no we haven't gotten to it yet what's it? <laughs> Joe's saving all his nerd watching I am I am now it. saving all my nerd watching for this so right. unless we're doing because there's so much there's too much there's yeah, too yeah. much out there There's everything's out they're redoing Silverhawks now <laughs> They're yeah. redoing He Man. They're redoing. I mean, uh, everything. They're supposed to redo the movie we're going to talk about later. There's there's petition to make that happen again, which is dumb. Oh but goodness. I'll talk about that. Oh yeah, we'll movie. talk about that. Yeah, we'll right. that episode. But right now we are we have already started the the season two of Nerd School is now oh. underway. Hey, oh, I yeah. have something to say. Yeah. For season two. Yeah, we're is in season intro? two. This is the this, this is the second it? episode of season two or third episode. This. Yeah. Right now? This is the first. Right? Is it the first? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we ended, ended with the predictions. Yeah. Look at that. I don't Look know what you. time is. Welcome Who knows? to season two. TBJ has something to say. I do. I have something to say. I'm going to say it loud and proud. Yes. Whether you like it or not. Yes. You say it. Happy birthday to the brothers of the oh, podcast. I don't yes. like it. Happy I didn't birthday. Like it. Happy birthday, <laughs> birthday <laughs> to No, this we don't have to. Happy birthday. <laughs> and I may or may not have brought oh, gifts. No. When what? this comes out, though. Yes. When this comes out, it won't be It doesn't be our matter. Birthday. People will oh, know look that at we TBJ, were celebrating guys, your birthday oh. today. So she has handed us, oh, listeners, sorry. TBJ has handed us boxes. I would like to clarify that we are not twins. We no, just they are not apart. twins. Yeah, my they birthday just... was yesterday. Andy's is tomorrow, and they're, they're two, two years apart. apart. Andy's way older than me. Yeah, and there's a box, and mine has a J and a B on it. I got and an inside a. is not oh, a B, it's look a at mask. this. Nerd oh, awesome. nerd school keychain. All right, I do have yeah. a keychain for you too. It's just not in a box because it's not your birthday. <laughs> and what is this? What we got here? A magic towel. They got towel. an extra dose of a present. So you just have oh, the keychain. I got so Avengers bad. magic towel. And I got well, a present for you, TBJ, for my you? birthday. Yeah. Yay. Well, we are, are and I talked Thank about you. it yesterday. We did talk about wishing nerd them a happy birthday. We talked about it. Awesome. We did say we were going to wish you guys because yes. it's a celebration. And as I also keep telling Professor Andy's wife, we are practically family now. Yes, mm. so we are family. I wanted to make sure if I hadn't had a headache today, I would have yeah. come in with a cake and all. <laughs> um, I did hear there would be cake. I heard that. That was Art, my goal today. But uh, I woke up and not and my best and self. And 
she also tried to goad me into singing, which I, I did. I just you just did sing. No, I think. no, no, no. I said happy birthday. He clapped. She and said, happy oh, birthday. you clapped. I, I didn't was... even. I didn't even clap. I didn't even clap. I left her high and dry. Can't you at least which is the precedent of our relationship? Can't right you now. at least beatbox art for us? The little birthday <laughs> no. beatbox. No. No. no, I see how he is. See, this is what happens. I, in goodwill, try to hey, unite with bet, him. This is what I bet the deal is. At the end of season five, he's going to reveal <laughs> that he's got pipes that no one's ever heard before. Probably. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Because we, see? again. All right, we got him to sing right now. To the audience, we don't know what Art does in his uh, personal life. So he we could be not. a singer. He, he could so be. these are, this isn't really a brand new, but this is a hand-me-down, but my daughter refuses to wear these. Uh, I will so wear them. They won't fit you. But oh, I can squeeze them. Maybe too. they will. I mean, no, they're like they a won't. child small. I will get them uh, to my niece. <laughs> they're a chi- so I feel you have a little girl. extra. They're an extra, extra small. Yeah, we'll rep them. I got nieces. So you have a niece that will we'll wear them. She was trying. I found like that them. in the Goodwill <gasps> bag. How is she trying to get And I was like, how school? dare you? <laughs> now, she's got too many clothes. My wife is making her give away. I was like, how dare you put These? a nerd school product <laughs> in a good... Although on one hand, I thought... I can't wait for somebody to buy that at a at a Goodwill for a dollar and then we wear it. Them. Just and then we see them; they're repping it. But I did, you know, one time uh, saw a Queen City Comedy Festival shirt at yes. a thrift store. Yes. <laughs> Fun times. I will, this is a good time to tell any listener that we do have a Redbubble shop. Redbubble. So we will put the link up on our our socials on the Instagram. So yes. if you are in dire need of nerd school merch, which you should be, yes, mm-hmm. and there is a link also at historyforjerks.com. Yep. right there you can buy it from there. Sweet. You can be cool. Yeah, one of the cool nerds mm-hmm. and rep like us. I could start putting it in the description of our episodes too. You could. I should probably. I happen that. to have a mask. Yeah, I know Joe has yeah. shirt. I have a shirt. I got a sticker on my. Prius. I do. I got a sticker. I didn't put it anywhere so yet. So check out the Nerd School store. You can get anything. You can get a bedspread. You can get a shower curtain, a throw pillow, whatever you want with the Nerd School yeah. logo. A duvet cover. Yeah. Let your nerd <laughs> King fly. King of the duvet cover. Fly. And Art Star made the design. Yes, he did. I need to give props to Art Star. He designed thank you, thank you. that. Yeah. He it's did. a cool logo. It's a pretty cool logo. It's got all kinds of colors. And it's wait, 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 wait. He's not Art Star anymore, right? He's Artemis Prime. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. No, Artemis <laughs> Prime. I mean, I'm going to always be Art Star. So. Okay. We're not giving but, him any but, extra. But I'm like, you know, the, um, I have many monikers. <laughs> many aliases, much <laughs> like uh, the suspected villain of the new Loki series on mm-hmm. Disney+. Great segue, Andy. Great I segue. love it. I like, like you said, yeah, that was a very good segue. I was trying to find out. I was about to say something Leave it about to the that, professor. That was better. He's got it. <laughs> so you said suspected Villain. We are five episodes into a six episode series. I was I was thinking we were done with Loki. That's why I kind of no. skipped it this week. Thought we were done. I know well, that I, would have been the worst so ending swear, if we were done. I swear you said this one was only going to be five episodes. I'm no. going to find the episode of Nerd yeah. School where you told me that. No, Art I think Star. we've always said six. Right, all of them have been. All right, I don't know. Maybe it was a dream I had. Could be. I but, don't know. Uh, <laughs> so there's one episode left, and after doing some research. Um, all signs point to a specific villain we have not seen or been revealed yet, but I also feel Does like... villain villains start with a K? Mm-hmm. Okay. Or an I, or an S, mm-hmm. or uh, an R. Are those the all many different aliases. names for the one yeah. Yeah. villain you're talking about? And right. you're not saying it because... I'm not saying it yet, because let me, let me uh, Get backtrack a bit. Yeah. Welcome to season two. We're jumping in with Loki here. Everybody. Yeah, okay. yeah. We're starting with Loki because we haven't talked about it at all yet because we've right. I've been very busy and unable to schedule. That's the, show. the thing. Yeah, we took a big break because we've all been crazy busy getting back to work on yeah. this pandemic. We're getting but back. Now to we're the all back. Norm. So we're trying to fit this in and figure out how to do it. Right. Uh, the Loki series. I mean, just like with uh, WandaVision and I think a bit of Falcon Winter Soldier. There was always this expectation that there's going to be a new big villain, like someone mm-hmm. we haven't seen before. It's going to turn out to be the, the main villain of the series. And did we get that? In Not either one really. of those two? Uh, no, no it's didn't. because the shows are self contained. They're like yeah. about those characters. And it has to fit this character's arc. And throwing in someone that has nothing to do with them mm-hmm. seems uh, uh, like something that they're not going to do it. It doesn't fit. Yeah, it's like, oh, well, this, does this series hang together on its own as its own right. unit? Then this whoever the big bad is has to relate Exist to what we've seen inside. in the previous five episodes. Yeah. I feel like the hardest thing for people to grasp was that these are not going to be recurring series. These are just six episodes, and Maybe. that's it, probably. Right? 
possibly. I mean, you, I mean, you I know honestly never know what Disney or Marvel will do, but yeah. as of right now, they are all. They're saying this is they're your, just but it's alone. like a movie. Like we just released it in six episodes instead of yeah. So we can do a little bit more. We yeah. can dive into the characters, which but is you, cool. Do you guys think that nerds have a little power here? Like if if we're li- if you guys are loud enough, <laughs> will they? As will they be, or? Well, you guys, you guys being the <laughs> repping the nerd community. Because I'm not there yet. I, I barely we got passed a, my first test. Yeah, we got a four-hour <laughs> cut of a bad Justice League movie because nerds were loud that's, for years. That's so, what I'm talking yeah. about. That's but exactly it takes time. About. I mean, it wasn't an immediate like. So if art starts a movement tomorrow, like let's get on the train, demand season two of Falcon Winter Soldier. Like how loud does it have to be for that to happen? Well, there's also uh, the fact that, uh, given the point I just made, that uh, – Warner Brothers and DC is in much different position than mm-hmm. Marvel is with their like right. nonstop success juggernaut. Right. Yeah. DC is still trying to figure out. Oh, uh, so Warner you're Brothers still building trying, their. You're suggesting we go. have an easier way to influence DC. Nerds can influence because DC they're more. looking for. They don't. They Marvel, don't have a Marvel formula. can do what they want. Well, Mar- right. again, as I mentioned before, Marvel is very forward thinking. They have a big picture vision and. Th- when we got the release of all the things coming, we have to remember that that all has to still come. So before they even think about rolling out, unless it's already been on their docket, they're going to go through this phase already. Phase four has to happen and Mm -hmm. they already have phase four planned out. So you're not going to get it in the middle of phase four. If we get it, it's going to be a while. Okay, It's going to be maybe not even until phase five or something. The thing that makes me go back and forth on uh, who the big bad is going to be or who they're if there's a big bag. if there mm-hmm. is because it could just be what makes sense with the series so far is that it's some other version of Loki that's my prediction yeah or my prediction who will is. be who they're fighting because yeah. right now they're or, about to find out who's behind all this stuff yeah who's behind, who's behind the behind. TVA right right and you know there's so many versions of Loki this could be like the ultimate power Loki that right. the Loki we know has always wanted to become. Yeah. And so it would make sense if he was like fighting the version of himself he thought he always wanted. My and it would be part of the character. I got a prediction already. Or it could be classic Loki. That's what I was going to say. Classic Loki. We saw classic Loki and classic Loki gives us a lot of back, more backstory than the other Lokis. One. Mm-hmm. He gives us that. more yeah. of what happens and it just could be him trying to write something that he felt bad about in his backstory. So well, I, yeah. I predict classic Loki. You think uh, so? He didn't vanish in the last episode. I don't. Well, think he, he did. you know, he, he says he talks about you know debris. Like a Loki could be a piece of debris. Yeah. And like when he does the whole thing, we like really powerful. That Loki, like, hey, I think we're probably more powerful than we think we are. You see, like debris flying towards the castle. So and like, it yeah, could be Owen just Wilson. an Easter egg, but mm-hmm. Owen Wilson, Mobius. It's, yeah. it's Mobius. <laughs> Mobius is a Loki, and that's why he went through that door. <laughs> is that why they <laughs> bonded? Because he's. Yep. He's a Loki. He's a Loki. That's why he didn't know where it came from. He didn't know. But the other thing... And he's a big... He's on the poster for the show. Like, the villain's I mean, not going to be not on there. Yeah, Possible. On the it. villain wasn't on Falcon and Winter Soldier. I will say we did. I mean, Sharon, Sharon Carter. We I got thought, a little bit of... Um, I thought the villain was that guy who wouldn't give him a bank loan. That guy <laughs> yes. was on the poster. In history. But yeah. we learned a little more about the, the dark side of her yes. on that. That's and we true. think that's going to lead to That was a surprise. So she was... That's a good point. Yeah. She wasn't on the poster? But was she, she the was. villain? No. Only She's something. Right. I'm she, she might be villain. working. I <laughs> think she is the ultimate okay. villain. Yeah. But she could be. But I'm going to say for women empowerment, she is the badass villain. So I think it's okay. sucky of us to automatically think the woman has to work for someone. Just so, saying. So are you, are you saying right now that a woman can be a bad guy? Yeah. So are you saying... And you're talking to women, and I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going to go there. I'm not. She is. I'm she not is saying all poster. women are angelic and good. Everyone has motives. Just like every bad guy, What's, you are always talking about how these exactly, bad guys Jesus. have exactly. these like so my thing back is, where, where's the difference? Where's the difference? There is no difference. She could be so the she's villain. Right so she's right well, there on the poster. I'm calling it right now. Well, I'm Sharon Carter Old Wilson's on that poster. It's a Sith. <laughs> she can be. I'm not saying she's not a Sith. I'm not saying that Siths. Can't be women. I'm just saying. I'm, that I'm not the dark saying it either, but for some reason, you make it seem like the dark guy. Good. Dark side is such a bad thing. It is. Good. I'm not saying she was a good person. But you're all about <laughs> Sharon Carter. You like woman no. empowerment. He was really excited about Sharon I wasn't Carter. woman empowerment for he her being a bad guy. I'm Sharon just Carter. saying. Tiff, TBJ's equity, already got a headache. That's equity. <laughs> for equity's sake. We can't just say only the big villains are men. Mm-hmm. One. Mm-hmm. I'm not pumping her up as being a villain. I feel I'm like just you were, saying. But 
playing Every ground is even and everyone is an equal opportunity of villain. Non-binary characters can be villains. Anyone can. Right. Mm-hmm. That's this cup could be a villain. You know, if an alligator could be a Loki, a cup could yeah, be a villain. That's true. So. Yes. But uh, yeah. like the villain I'm, I'm, that all signs seem to point to is Kang the Conqueror. Who we know has been cast for Ant Man Quantumania. Okay, right. so, so see, you guys know this nerd background, but stuff. I've also yeah. heard some some people that they think it might be Daring too, Doctor Doom. And Didn't we say the, that? The for, thing is that we mentioned Doctor Doom. There's for versions Wanda like for Falcon or Wanda. Kang or is Falcon. such a weird time traveling mess of a guy with right. several different aliases. One of which is Doctor Doom. Mm-hmm. Oh, so right. one of which, is what you're talking about. When yeah. you yeah. said I, it starts with I or S or. Uh, actually, like the more research I just did this morning about trying to get caught up on. Kang, I mean, I know what Kang is generally, but I don't know a lot of specifics. But he has a Kang the Conqueror is like a time traveling guy who likes to go into other times and conquer times, like go S- prove his medal as a general and conquer like legendary right. things. And you're saying all signs point because this is so time travelly. It's time travelly, and it's also you know alternate versions of a person. But then also some of the stuff like if if you're reading, if you're pausing and reading, some of the things have like things that call out to Kang. Like the Avengers Tower has what is it, uh, Kang something or whatever. But it's 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 when like I guess in a book there's a time when Tony Stark sold Avengers Tower to one of Kang's. Aliases. Oh, okay. And then he has this, so like that building, that Avengers Tower, actually has the name of the company that Kang the Conqueror had. But like, mm-hmm. there's other stuff that's inside this, the last episode, which kind of points towards Kang. Oh. But then it's also just like Marvel always does. Mm-hmm. They show us some, like for instance, like there are people who, when they first saw Sylvie, they were saying, "Oh, that's the Enchantress." Right. That's the enchantment. You were saying that. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that, that other people were saying the is same she thing. Not? Is but she then they were saying they, I mean, we still really never. Yeah, they're saying that right. she's yeah, a, you know, an almigation of Loki and Enchantress. But then there's also, like, you know, you get, like, him, like, the whole thing with Sif getting the hair cut off. And then, you know, the whole Lady Loki storyline is based around Loki dying and taking a body that was meant for Sif. So, like, that was one of, that could have been one of the reasons they threw Sif in there just mm-hmm. to show the whole, well, Loki cut her hair. By the, by the, so it's just like all of these things, it's so much Easter candy, Easter chicken, Easter eggs in, yeah. in this yeah. Loki series where it has you guessing like, this could be that, this could be that, this could be this, you know. So. But I feel like we had that with WandaVision, right? There were so many things yeah. in WandaVision that were like, oh, so ooh, much. it's got to be. Ooh, but it's I, I feel be. like with Loki, out, nope. I feel like with Loki, there's so much more though. Like WandaVision... Yeah. The whole premise of it, like everyone's building towards this going to be Mephisto, Nightmare, yeah. all of these and things. And it's a series about Loki, who is the king, of, god of mischief, right. king of misdirection. Right. Yes. So there's so much pointing to Immortus, mm-hmm, who mm-hmm. is a future version of Kang, who got old and realized his younger self as Kang was messing up things in the timeline. So his whole deal was working for the timekeepers to and who, undo who's, his own damage. And what's like, the other yeah. one name? I, I, I'm getting them mixed up with... Um, My Hero Academia, because they have like one for all and all for one, but it's the, and his name is also almost like Voldemort, it's like the one who shall not be named. But what's that dude's name? It's an older guy, but it's an older version of Loki, I believe. Um, he who remains. Yeah, he who remains. Right. Yeah, I read, just read something about that yeah. this morning. Like he was like at the end of time, mm-hmm, some mm-hmm. kind of thing. But uh, the more I read about Immortus was like. He is in charge of, uh, he does a lot of pruning of timelines. Right. He worked for the timekeepers, uh, and okay. he is, is in charge of trying to maintain uh, or yeah. repair damage to the timeline caused by his younger self, Kang the Conqueror, who has so many different alternate versions of himself that there is a council of cross-time Kangs, much like the episode of Rick and Morty where there's the Council of Ricks. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what this, that last and episode And that's totally felt based like. on the Council of Kangs. Where yeah. all those Lokis were fighting each other, I was like, this is an episode of Rick and Morty. That well, you know, Rick, Rick and Morty, st- I don't want to say stills, but they're inspired they, by. They, they, they appropriate a lot of <laughs> nerd culture in that show. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean uh-huh. it also it's could nerd. just be some nerds writing it and writing yeah. about what they Oh, there are nerds writing it. But see, that's the other reason why I think it also could be a classic Loki because. He is older, knows what Loki, <laughs> the mischief of Loki, and how it ends the world. Um, mm. And so maybe he is redirecting 
and readjusting and most of the people being caught and sent to the void are Lokis. So And also it uh, could be a version of Loki that is Kang. That's so, true. Like, it's like or uh, another thought I had was whoever's in that castle is some version of Thor mm. who maybe uh, followed more of Loki's ideas than before. Like, because Thor is his ultimate enemy. You know, I love yeah. Thor in that little jar. Drop of that Chris Hemsworth. Thor. Thor. The little Thor in the jar. Did you guys catch that the little thing when they were throw pan, they were panning down? Yeah, the to frog uh, Thor. Under, there was a frog Thor. Yeah, yeah it was like in a jar. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. Did you not see that, Andy? You have that. Look. I rewound it like four <laughs> times. I saw I the like, hammer. I didn't. Uh, Next to the hammer was a little jar. Yeah, it was a like, little tiny. And you even and it's and it's even a Hemsworth's voice. Really? I was like trying to get out. Yeah. All right, I didn't catch that at all. You got to go back and watch it. I probably do. But yeah, it's, I, I still gotta go. I'm gonna go back and watch Wandavision, I think, too, and Falcon Winter Soldier, just because well, I think I feel like watching them for the first time, you're you're so looking for something like uh, what's what's is, what's that what's it? and you can't. I feel like you can't really. Enjoy I think it. we've talked about this with you before. With me, we yeah, you yeah, have to. I gotta watch everything. <laughs> Joe twice, has to watch everything twice. But even if, even if, even even if you're not watching it for the show, it's like if you like it and it's really good, you're gonna keep watching it. Anyway. Yeah. You know, Top Gun. You're going to keep watching it anyway just because. I like how you slid that in. <laughs> Top Gun. Well, no. I, I had to. I, I this was girl pitching. isn't watching Top Gun again. Yeah, I'm never going to watch it again. I, I've never and Tom it. Cruise, I refuse. I don't think I'm ever going to watch Tom Cruise again. Well, I here's. Really I to. told. Uh, I don't know if you guys were a part of this conversation, but they're remaking it with someone I do enjoy in Top the Gun? movie. Yeah. They're not remaking they're, it. It's excuse a me. It's a new iteration with oh. Tom Cruise in it, which makes me go, no. But Jay Ellis, <laughs> who I enjoy, is also in it. And I'm like, well, damn. Do I uh, support? Or Jay Ellis and watch this dumb film with dumb Tom Cruise, <laughs> or do I have to let it? You uh, could close your eyes every time Tom Cruise. Comes I have down. a feeling he's going to make sure himself is on that well, screen. He's, he's all up in it, ninety percent of the or time. You just cover one eye. I just cover. I don't know. I think, <laughs> I think I'm just going to have to send Jay Ellis love from afar. But I or just watch it, and every time it. you see Tom Cruise, just face swap him with Liam Hemsworth. <laughs> or just scream, that boo easy. at the screen. His boo, entire presence Tom gives me the heebie-jeebie, so I don't know if I can um, <clears throat> do that. I was very disappointed that he's bringing that movie back. Well, you know, but yeah, go watch it again. I think it's pain. worth watching again just because it's yeah. good. Well, I'm and trying I to convince my wife to watch things. it with me. Like which she, one? All of them. Like, I, I, I think told she her would WandaVision. Dig WandaVision. Start with WandaVision. She did say, "Oh, I might watch this WandaVision." I was like. Okay, so are you prepared for what that is? And I started but you have to it. let her That's just it. watch it. Once I start it. launching the nerd stuff, she's like, I don't want to. You're, no. you're ruining it for me. Well, just, just, yeah, I will watch it. Yeah. I tell, I'll come over and watch right, it. You watch it. <laughs> well, we don't have anything we watch together. We used to, we've used we watched so many shows together, and we've just loved it. But there's only a certain kind of show we can watch together. Like, she's into murders. Like, I had to scream at her to turn off the TV because she was listening to a 911 call. From a, a nine-year-old who was screaming and crying that her mother was being stabbed in front of her when our daughter came, I was like, "Turn that off right now!" Like true you're gonna, crime, you're gonna scar her. She's like, "I can't. I don't know how to work the remote. <laughs> she doesn't know how to do it." Scar so, her or scar you? The scar me, really. I was like, "I'm gonna have." And my daughter was like, "Oh, I listen to this stuff all the time." Yeah, I, was, well, I think it's. I'm gonna have I, as I tell my niece, my sister and I watch a lot of true crime too. Your it's sister like, Tempest? Yes, <laughs> we watch a lot of true crime, and so my niece, uh, who's 15, was over. <laughs> And our little sister, who's 18, and they were like, can you guys turn the channel? Yeah. And my youngest son was like, they're not going to. This is their world. And I was like, hey, it's self-awareness. <laughs> Listen, I know that people are creepy, and I know that these shenanigans happen. And if a cop ever said, hey, yo, your sister did this, I'd probably be like, I mean, I didn't expect it, but it's possible. <laughs> because true crime teaches you uh, yeah. Anybody. that no one is off limits. You could tell me Art Star is a serial killer. He might be, because we don't know what he does in his private life. Yeah, we do not know much about our son. Yeah. He's very he, he does admire the Sith who murders right? children. So <laughs> Again, the Sith do not only murder children. They don't only. only <laughs> listen, listen, but it's listen. a part of their listen, history. You know, it's kind of the thing that defines them. If they, like, if you do that, no, that kind the, of defines them. This is the not all are. men argument for Siths. <laughs> not all Siths. Well, see, I was thinking about that the other day. It's like a lot of times people <laughs> think, like, for instance, you have good... And you have bad. Under each of those umbrellas, there are subcultures and subsects. Like, like I can sit there and be as bad as I want, but I can still have morals. Like okay, I can, I'm so like, waiting I mean, to point out a good Sith. I'm just, there are, there are good Siths. Where? Darth Maul ends up becoming, if you, like, like past the, what you saw in the movies, like if you read some of his comics, 
Darth Maul, Darth Vader. Like some of these. Well, because Darth Vader was never meant to be a Sith Lord in the first place, so that doesn't that doesn't help your argument. Like he was man- manipulated into being Darth Vader. Like he, yes. if one, if he wasn't machismo My, a, and was smart and not a dumb dude, I'm calling he it right now. Would the Grinch be was a Sith. Who said I love the Grinch? I like Christmas. <laughs> here's the thing. The, the Grinch was a Sith. The, he here, had no my, heart. My point is He's stealing from children. My so. point is you can <laughs> you can be bad. And then, like, you can say, have, like, you know, I don't kill kids. I don't kill animals. But I kill a person. You know what I'm saying? So, like, so, villains have a, have a code. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, villains, that doesn't mean they're right, good. Exactly. Right. It and, means and, and, they and, just have their own rules. It's, it's like, Which are all very self-determined it's, rules. Yeah. It's, like if, it's like if you, like, like mercenaries, like some mercenaries, they kill for money. They don't care who it is. They're killing for money. But then also some people are you say. you arguing that these are I'm, good guys, though? I'm not arguing that they're good. I'm just arguing. That just I'm because just, arguing, period. just because sense. I believe in the Sith doesn't necessarily mean <laughs> I can't. Be, you believe in the Sith. He that's, does hardcore. That's, doesn't mean I couldn't sit there in my spare time have a little bird cage or a little cage where I just sit there and nurture rabbits. You I could. Literally, <laughs> I literally and that's nurture def- rabbits. That's his definition you of still good. Could be a serial killer while nurturing exactly, rabbits. Exactly. Exactly. And that rabbits you good. in a that's, bird cage. But, but, but you're uh, rabbits are in a bird point. cage. I but, totally thought he was going to say like help an old woman <laughs> across <laughs> the street that, that's, or see, no. that's, feed the homeless. But no, it's we nurture can, rabbits in a bird cage. Listen, that's listen, listen. Definition. listen. That he feeds to the pet snake in the basement. You guys. You guys know me. You know I always do go we, to. Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? Do listen, we know you? Who's living with you? you Who do, do you live with? You do. We don't know. You do know I sometimes take it to the weird extreme. But <laughs> you're just what do you wear? My point. What do you wear to sleep? We don't know you. Do we know what you wear to bed? <clears throat> I wear boxers to sleep. Joe. Okay, <laughs> no Joe, shirt, that's very boxers. personal. Thing exactly. You're just asking. But, and, and the way he looked I've been at me, nude, right? the way he looked at me, his eyes made me tell him the truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe you. I believe I'm you. I'm concerned about this friendship. All but right. listen, it's getting it's getting weird in here. <clears throat> all I'm all I'm saying is, just because it's, someone is bad, they're not 100 percent bad. No, just because someone is bad doesn't mean and you and maybe you're in the same. Let's say you're. Let's say you're in the same league as them. Just because you're in the same league as them and you're bad, doesn't mean you have to agree with what they do. You can still be bad, but doesn't um, mean I have to agree with <clears throat> him so killing still, kids. So there's the the murder Darth Vader, uh, child slaughter Seth. Uh-huh. And then there's the rabbits and bird cages. Exactly. Set. Exactly. That's <laughs> all I was saying. I'm not but saying just they like you don't have, coexist. You, you just, just like you have good people who beat the shit out of their kids. But Does are they make good them, people? Yeah. That kind, then of, the that kind of makes is, them not good people. I'm, I'm not going to try to be super religious, but like they, these are the, some of the people who in church, you know, ruling with iron fists, is killing with swords and things, uh, and then praising Jesus. Yeah, you. I think we but don't think that's good. To some people, they still, oh, sh- he or she's really good because... They beat the shit out of their kids. Perception of good. Mm, Perception. I think, but I I think a lot of that is like covered up the really dark part because you can say like I spank, but they don't know the extent of what you're doing to them in your household. So I would say then, are they really good people? Right? I don't care if you hide behind behind a religious wall. Are you really a good person? I get that, but I get that. Then also, this person (laughs) just because you know, just like he's bad, but. How bad is he? But it doesn't matter how bad they are. They're bad. Like, Loki is mischief all the time. So Loki you, is you reckless you, all you, the time. You don't think Loki I mean, has murdered a lot of people? Yes. But, so you Loki don't think, has ended whole worlds. You don't think, you don't think like, just He's from what, what we're saying in this show, you don't think that Loki's kind of sort of redeeming himself? I don't necessarily I do. think he's redeeming himself. I think we're getting a clear background to his motives and see where things, how he became how he mm-hmm. is. And I can understand your backstory mm-hmm. and I can understand how you got that way, but I can't excuse you from being that way. Right. That's the trick with villains. I'm not, I can see, I'm not living in uh, sunny colored glasses and not seeing, hello, I love true crime. I see, (laughs) I see people probably more than I should, Mm -hmm. but being good at some things doesn't outweigh the bad you do. I don't think you can truly redeem yourself from murderous intentions. Not trying to get religious, but some religions believe that you can redeem yourself. Some do, but they are a small section of people and they still have the answer to a court of law. So my thing is... I thought you guys were correcting me anytime I said Loki was a bad guy before. Like in Thor and the 
Venom. No, I never not said that. I, I know thought you guys always no. He's not a villain. He's just misunderstood. Is what I thought you guys always told me. No, I would I say he's not a villain. Like, villain, like yeah. he's not like he didn't set out. He's not a psych. No. Yeah, he's not a villain. Villain like we see villain. He's yeah. mischievous. He's got some family issues. Right. He said he was like the frost giants were manipulating him into that stuff. I thought we were just saying like he's no. not necessarily no. a villain. I wouldn't I categorize him as a villain, but I, he's not a good guy. He's not a hero. Right. I wouldn't even say he's an anti-hero. But I feel he like is a bad guy. An anti-hero. You're not classifying Loki as a as a uh, villain kind I'm of thing. I'm saying he guy is a thing. bad guy. That's my whole point. With but he's not necessarily Sith a don't necessarily villain. like you can. So they're bad guys, but it, not. My villains. thing is, I, everyone for some he's reason always associate me. the Sith. With Anakin killing some children, yeah. they don't that's all, all just kill know. children. I mean, that's all we know. Yeah. No, that's not but all that's, we know. We know we the know. other Sith. So let's 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 uh, look at it. Like this so, Loki, Loki kind episode. of personifies your take on the Sith. Exactly. I, I believe is, that. is Loki is a bad. He's a villain. He's a bad. He's guy, a bad yeah. guy. He's, been a he's murdered a lot of people. He murdered eighty nine people in two days. Right. In the Avengers just movie. Psh- he and but we're we're oh, getting right. his motivations. We see why he's that. Right. Uh, but it doesn't excuse what he's done. But in that exactly. monologue, was, he, was, at the end of that last episode, he said, "I've changed. I've realized what I've he done." He only said he's changed to I another it. version of himself. That's true. And at the core of Who all he's this, about to get with it seems like. <clears throat> I hope not, because that's creepy AF. Well, but I. But it also people masturbate masturbate really all the time. fits Loki. Right, it fits Loki, and it's like the yeah. ultimate narcissist. Like, who yeah. do you fall in love with? <laughs> a Yourself. version of myself, of course. So well, a, isn't that what people do with that love language you were telling me about the other day? No, most people you find have your different own love, love languages. Oh, you want different. Okay, never mind. No, we'll most people it. do have that. different love languages, but it's good to know them so right. you can know what your partner receives as love I totally and know what yeah. you receive as love. So there's no miscommunication because people receive things differently. So we had this conversation in another place about this love language thing, which I never heard Joe of. Joe had never heard of the But I languages. immediately, because of that conversation, I immediately discovered what my wife's, like that, the light bulb went on. I was like, hey, because for my birthday, she got up. I had to be at work. I had to get up in, at 6 on a Saturday. So she got up at 5.30 on my birthday, which she would never do, and went out and got me donuts, Aww. which she would never do. Like, even previously, I always have to go out and get everything. Right. Like, even if it's for me or whatever, you go out and get it. She just doesn't leave the house unless she's got an hour to do her hair. She was up at 5. I didn't even discover it. My alarm went off and she wasn't in the bed. I was like, what? And she went got donuts at five thirty in the morning, and she got back and asked me. I was like, "Your love language is service, acts of service." <laughs> and she was like, "What are you talking about?" I was like, "Well, my love language is touch, yours is service. So we do for each other what we want, what we think, what we want wow. as a present." So, <laughs> like, <laughs> I think for your birthday, you just want me nude, uh, laying out of bed. You don't like it, and <laughs> you think I just want donuts at five thirty in the morning. I do like that. But, <laughs> you do uh, like I do that. like the donut. No, but, it's just. Yeah, anyway, uh, so that's a for, I think all nerds should do that when debating with other nerds and figuring out people because it's not just it's not like love. romantic it love. It could be platonic love. love. Like I said, I make my I kids take the test. I mean, my sister take the test. Okay. Like anyone oh, in my test. circle. So you telling me you want me to quiz. take the test? No, so we already. We all gotta take the test and then start. I don't think we'll ever uh, be reciprocal. I just want to say one other thing about we've this. established this. So can I say this? The ex. I didn't say that. You noticed that. Right. right? You noticed that. I, <laughs> I love what he said. But and we I, knew you I, wanted I, to. A few times I wanted to. I was like, I'm not. I'm gonna try not to say this. <laughs> um, but, and you, you, you haven't seen this yet, so you probably won't know what I'm talking about. All right. But as we see in Thor Ragnarok, the executioner was helping Hela and doing all of this bad stuff. At the end of the movie, you know, he basically sacrificed himself to save the escaping Asgardians. But it does he, not outweigh. You don't think that gives him some, a well, little bit well, of redemption? Pers- it gives him some personal no. redemption, and he, it gives you the, oh, he wasn't evil evil, mm-hmm. but he was still. He was coward evil. Like, yeah. He, he didn't, like, they never, he never actually did, swung the axe. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was about to, mm-hmm. uh, and he probably would have gone that far, but, like, he was just, A, scared of her power, knew he couldn't do anything mm-hmm. against yep. it, and was trying to, you know, wasn't brave enough to stand up to Right. Her. And then, at so the I don't end, think it's redemption. I think it just power. lessens the amount of evil people see you as. So you keep. Yeah. I don't think there. I think this idea of redemption is very rare that people actually redeem themselves mm-hmm. when and, after and, and such who's, who bad judges things, that redemption, right? Who? who where? What's the scale? What are your motives? You murder eighty nine people in two days. 
how many nice things do you have to say to redeem yourself? What do you? Right. I, mean, I guess maybe. Mm-hmm. I think Norman yeah. sacrificing yeah. himself to try to. Or stop just doesn't want Thanos. us to see him as a serial killer. No, no. Ugh. Here's my Norman thing. Fell judges. You guys are just sitting <laughs> here. Fell. You guys are sitting here just pr- kind of sort of proving my point. There are different levels. I didn't disagree evil and with bad. that. I can agree but that there but are yeah. different levels. Well, Andy there said there's coward evil. This what's shit? coward evil yes. compared to what's coward evil? Is, what's another coward There are evil? levels to everything. There are levels of mm-hmm. good. Exactly. There are levels of exactly. bad. Exactly. But for some reason. I never said we, that. For some reason, we keep harping on. It's like you make you guys make it seem like. <laughs> I'm not even going to do it. You guys make it seem like. Did you like that laugh, Joe? Yeah, I did like that. <laughs> but like, I like that one better. <laughs> All right. And that one. I really All like that. All right. This let's. Uh, you know, one. Can I just say one thing really quick? Can, can I, I just... say this? I, I, I got it. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. So one thing I like about doing these things is I like, ha- like, as much as me and Tiff, because me and Tiff, me and like, for all intents and purposes, Tiff is the, is the light and I'm the dark. Yes, right? yeah, that's so got a lightsaber. That's just accurate. having She's banter with got... Andy is like the awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like it's like let's say if you were like. A, um, Let's say Andy was like a superstar, right? <laughs> <laughs> like coming like, soon to a theater near you, right? Do you mean like Mick Mars from Motley Crue, that kind of? <laughs> no, like, let's, let's say he was a superstar baseball <laughs> the, the, player, the right? The worst. Oh, yeah. He was a superstar baseball player, right? So he, he's he's, he's A-Rod. Carlton Fisk. Oh, yeah, no, A-Rod, no. He's, he was a pitcher. He's like Nolan Ryan. No. Okay, he's, Nolan he's, Ryan. He stormed the mound and like punched a guy in the face. Right. So like he struck out all these people, and then you're like this average baseball player. Yeah. You know, you hit maybe <laughs> The guy just came up from the minors. Right, you, you hit maybe 200, and then you face Andy, and every time... He throws you a pitch, you knock it out the park. Oh, right? I'm not, I'm not, you're saying you're knocking these no, out. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it. What I'm saying Andy, is, is he dissing you? No, listen. Uh, can, can I finish? I'm, I'm, can I'm, I finish? I'm waiting for can the finish. finish. All right. So can it finish? Can it finish? Can so it's like it's like every so like every time you see him, you still like, man, that's Andy. <laughs> and then you come up there, you hit the home run, you walk around the, you know, you go around the field. And you're still in awe of Andy that all you want to do is run up to him and shake his hand and yeah. go sit back down to the bench. But now he don't. He wants to punch you in the face. He, he might want to punch <laughs> you in the face. But but to him, he's still a superstar. And no matter what, it's almost like, wow, that's Andy. But you're still that shitty baseball player. But every time it gets But Andy, you hit a home run against Lowell and Ryan? And Lowell every, Ryan every time. <laughs> but, Ryan. but you don't look at it as like you're besting him. You look at it like, wow, I face Nolan Ryan. You don't even give a shit about the home right. run. You don't give a shit about the home run. You just give a shit about facing Nolan so Ryan. So you're saying Andy is this nerd god, and you're just a, a piece of I'm a shit plea. when it comes I'm to nerds. I'm a nerd. plea. But, but, just, but you're dominating him every no, time you talk. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> that's just not, like. I'm also not. feel, I feel low-key dissed no, in this, no. whole, <laughs> this whole assessment. And you're just a Loki. Right? Scene. I'm just over here. Here's the thing. My Here's debating thing. doesn't matter. Here's the thing. Okay. It's... it's a way to build friendships over there, Art oh. Star. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is, you're some minor like, league pitcher over here. So, no, no, you're Loki. No. Tiff is Thor, and I'm Odin. Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you get what I'm trying to oh, say? Andy? Okay. I'm not. Okay, a, I get I'm not that. Oh, that makes a little more. Yeah, sense. I'm not saying. I can that, deal with those see, dynamics. We got our thing, but me and Andy's thing is like it's oh. almost like like I say, it's I'm like just crappy Hawkeye <laughs> <laughs> or Robin or something, or no, maybe if, even no. A, if anything, if anything. Me, me, and Joe. I want to say we would be like on the same level. So, yeah, like, I don't think so. I think I'm. Uh, and I, I'm not saying, but see, I'm not. I'm not talking smart, like, like banter wise, right, right, right. Like communication right. We're, wise. we're like the fabulous freebird. <laughs> we are like the fabulous. <laughs> I'll take that any day. I'm Jimmy Garvin. <laughs> no, we gotta come in strut. Except no, we can't be the fabulous freebird because I believe they had the Confederate flag hanging. Oh, okay. Did they break? Come out the Confederate the Rock flag? and Roll Express. There we go. Rock and Roll Express is better. Or how like, about so, so and, and, and so we're the Rock and Roll Express or the Heart Foundation? Tiff would be <laughs> the Rock, uh, and Andy would be Stone Cold. Did that make you feel better? Andy's, okay, Andy's maybe better. Hulk Hogan. That means I'm still fabulous. Yeah, but I'm not rock. at Andy's level. He's Hulk that's fine. I can take that. So we're demolition. What's the bottom line? The bottom. Oh, good job, I, Andy. I, I think it's cool. I think I think it's cool. Just like I mean, even that one episode where you straight up dissed me, yeah. <laughs> like I was like, whoa. 
This is like and he dissed me and I and didn't he's feel saying he loves his banjo. And I didn't uh-huh. feel some type of way about it because it was like I couldn't uh-huh. say anything. I like, wow. Andy shaded the <laughs> fuck out of there's me. There's a lot of little little shades that you've missed over that I pick up on when I'm editing. So boy, he's really hitting art but, but, here. Because so. again, <laughs> Nolan Ryan. He's no, yeah. Mini Minosa. Oh, many more. Also, I think our star sets himself up sometimes to to be the one we throw it at. Like I ordered a you beer set yourself Minosa. up. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. As a set, did that doesn't does that not make me a wholesome and lovely? That, that, that ties into the Loki thing. Like his purpose is to be the villain right? to make the heroes better. And speaking of Loki, do we have anything else to say about Loki? Because we've been it's about forty minutes or so we've been talking about this. All right, I think we. So let's try. So to is wrap it going to be Kang or is it not going to be Kang? Or is because it we know Kang Loki? is coming? And Kang so I could found an be... article from seven months ago where they were predicting Kang would be in Loki even before Loki even started. Which is a reasonable By prediction. Skyler the Schuller. only reason, and what Andy said, the only reason I see it not happening is thus far in the other two series. They wrap it up within that world, so I would yeah, find it doesn't bleed over in the movie, right? Yeah. Not yet. Like, Although, not here to really like introduce yeah. a new villain that's going to springboard. They're here like to be self-contained character, right? right to things. development, develop these. So characters. so far, the formula says no, but there are lots of Easter chicken and Easter eggs that say maybe. But what we because we've seen the first two series, they've done a really intentional job of making it be. In this world that the series is built, but then on. it's also right. Marvel, so this, but you this could know. be the one where they say, you know what, That's they true. know it's coming. Boom, it's going. They're going to be excited up. just because the day come. Because of anything, like if Kang, Kang could be the Thanos of Phase Four, right? Of That's true because he's so ubiquitous, he's so powerful, and he's got so many iterations. He's been Immortus, the Scarlet Centurion, uh, Rama Tut. He went back in time and became a, a conqueror in Egypt. He's one of the young Avengers, like a version of him who is Iron uh, Lad. Iron Lad. Yeah. And we've seen a lot that's leading up to young Avengers. Kid we, Loki. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Eli Bradley. Could, uh, could Owen Wilson be Kang? <laughs> could be. I mean, I, wow. I think you never know. Owen Wilson is Kang. Owen Wilson's he went through gonna, that door and just, you know, very suspiciously. All he's going to burn it all to the I'm ground, just right? just go over here. He's Kang. Owen Wilson. Uh, Owen Wilson is Kang. I predict it. I predict Owen Wilson will be on a jet ski in the final episode. Oh, so. He thinks yeah. that he'll get his, his wish. What if yeah. Kang is in a jet ski in the sky? Like a, that could be. Like a, like a sky space. Like a sky thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's got to be something jet ski there. But well, I just quickly Googled Owen Wilson Kang just to see if anybody's saying that. And there were, there were YouTube videos from July of oh, 2020 and, all and predicting that. Ravana Renslayer, the, mm-hmm. the main judge, that is uh, That's one the name of, of Kang's. Kang? Uh, someone who has taken up uh, like one of like Kang's consort. Well, and, and those two are best friends. Owen yeah. Wilson and her. Well, uh, she's Owen been Wilson's manipulating King, all <laughs> along. No, I think he Owen was Wilson's disappointed. What about Miss Minutes? I think it's Miss Minutes at the villain. <laughs> <laughs> the that little clock that keeps coming up. Yeah. Hey, Listen, y'all. I love that clock. I'm going to miss that clock. I, I am also suspicious of the clock. And I think a lot of Loki is also setting up uh, the ability to recast characters with different actors. Oh, because like Drake Hoggestein. The, the Drake Hoggestein <laughs> conundrum. <laughs> That's what they call that it. That is a in deep, deep Days of Our Lives cut. But, <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, so uh, who that but is? Yeah, Drake Hoggestein? You know, I soap mean, operas recast. He, all played, the time. he was Roman, yeah. but yeah. he was the new Roman because the guy who played Roman left. And then the guy who played so you mean old like Roman the came Aunt back. Viv con- Aunt Viv conspiracy on Fresh Prince for those people who have not watched soap operas. Or a little Viv different thing. in that the old actor came back, and so the new actor wanted to stay. And so they. They renamed so him the somebody new Roanne else. show. That's what they did with Roanne. Roseanne. If you remember, oh, the two older, the oldest daughter was yeah, recast in season. Right. She when they back. brought the show back, both of them came back. One of them had to play someone else and not right. the daughter. The newer one played somebody else now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they, that's what they did. With, that's the Drake Hoggestein. Okay, I never method. watched. Soap well, opera, he so. became John Black, but he thought he was Roman, but then it turned out he had amnesia. Or something. Yeah. So but everybody was, believed he was Roman, it. even though he was this like uh, deep six days inches taller. Yeah. I think. What, didn't lives. you used to watch this with your grandma? Is that you? My, no, when we were my mom used to watch this when okay. we were home sick. Childhood. Yeah, yeah. Childhood. yeah. I remember yeah. you mentioning it in childhood. But then we all kind of got into it. I don't know. Andy was really into it. Andy's for you guys, just for you guys, Art Star, Lord Artemis Prime, watches soap opera. Right. Watches or watches. Oh, watches. Y&R, baby. Present day. 
All right. Wow. Present day. I did that for you, Tim. That's a little tidbit a into little our star's into life. World, right. Yeah. He won't tell us anything else. Like, we, we know he sleeps in boxers and watches Young That's and the Rest. All of us. we know about That's Art Star. Know. The rest of us know each other's uh, wives. We know yep. each other's children. We know Art each other's Star bank is accounts and social here. security numbers. Right? <laughs> Shoe sizes. We and Art Star, we just know it's Art Star with multiple names. And now Joe discovered the boxers thing. Yeah, and he just boxers. I'm picturing boxers every time you get ready for bed. Maybe as we continue on by the end of our time as a podcast, we'll yeah. actually get but to know Art thing. Star in Speaking real life. Speaking of Loki, you know, if I can't, I have to be mysterious. I've always, been, like, my <laughs> yes. entire life has yeah. been built around being mysterious. Already. So the People prediction we... for the end of Loki is Art Star is Loki. Oh, he could be. That's a good That's what he was doing during the pandemic. He went off to go film. And I am not a variant. I am the actual Loki. So that's another prediction right there. We need to start selling Art Star action figures and T-shirts. On it. At that time, Art Star. Yeah. We need to get those, like, the catchphrases. Can I say this? (laughs) You know, things like that. Yeah. I I mean, I uh, just, I keep thinking, I've. One, I think Sylvie is the enchanter. They're mm-hmm. leaning way too hard on the word right. enchant right. Yes. for everything she does. It's still possible. Oh. She is a version of the Wait, enchanter. She's not question. the the traditional Marvel enchantress who is Amora, who is whose whole goal is to just magically make Thor fall in love with her. Isn't Amora the name of that monster in the clouds? That's Elioth. Oh, Elioth. Who sure is name. also an enemy of Kang. Uh, like oh. the, of Kang's time Office empire, Alioth is this wow. weird cloud monster. So this is that bringing back all your nerd stuff that you nerds love. Well, I didn't know who Alioth was until oh. I just researched it, but because I, I don't, I don't have a super. Well, Kang pretty Kang. much has has used him like this, where he has him doing kind of sort of Owen like his bidding. And I guess the fact that they, gonna stick to that they no enchanted him, him totally. and kind of turned him into well, like having them exist be the there as like as a conference now that's why I to attack whoever's saying he is This is an awesome he does ex- like overlapping convo. Yeah, yeah. It was two people having <laughs> right. four people having <laughs> two <laughs> conversations. So she just gave me some good information. I didn't know that Mobius was in the comics. Yeah. yeah. So she just dropped Yeah, the time variance authority is a thing. Yeah. And most of the way the TVA is in the Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and <laughs> Joe's, but there Joe's was never a Loki. Ex- was there a Loki comic? Just Loki or not? Sure, he's. I mean, there's he's been, been, been about a com- like yeah. at there's least a one comic, comic for name. almost everybody. Yeah. yeah, really? Yeah, just. I mean, there's an individual. Think comic about how long every comics have been around, and you don't have to have an ongoing series. You can yeah. have like a four issue miniseries. Oh, you say I'll never be able to release. read every comic ever. I mean, you can dedicate your life to it. You can get a sponsor. Get yourself a sugar spouse. Uh, oh, and then I need to dedicate time is what I need. your I need life to doing time. that. It's doable. Well, create yeah. a time loop and get to keep going back and forth. So does Mobius fight Kang in the comics? Does anybody know that? I don't, I don't know much about so. Mobius, who is He's not like, to be confused with Morbius, the living Mobius vampire. Is, <laughs> right. Wasn't what there Mobius in, uh, what's the... Uh, Morpheus? The Morpheus. Matrix. Matrix, that's yeah. Morpheus. Mobius, Morpheus. Okay, that's right. No, they all sound like Mobius uh, strip is the <laughs> in, like the infinity symbol. Uh yeah, uh, that Tony absolutely. has, and uh, and there's also a, I believe a, f- a pretty famous artist named Mobius who used to do like Silver Surfer comics. That, there like, you go. Like these really lush painted things, but that's a whole other thing. So, okay. so I he think can't we, be Kang. We all got our predictions he out. He could be, but I'm just Anybody saying he does exist. But wouldn't that be a thing that pisses off uh, no. nerds? Because like, oh, he can't be Kang. Uh, no, I think we're past that point. And I think it's also think uh, the care. other thing with, like I was, my point with uh, to be able to recast somebody, like eventually recast T'Challa with somebody else mm-hmm. or if Tom Hiddleston's like, alright, I've done 40 of these movies, time to go. We can right. do another Loki, a different version of that if you don't want the same character. I think it's also a way to uh, hopefully chill out the racist nerds who will flip out if you uh, introduce uh, cross, someone. It, yeah. uh, diversely cast a character like uh, the person uh, who was cast that we know of. Oh, yeah. Somebody already Kang. cast as Kang. In, yes. Yeah. Uh, who was a black man, I believe. He's going to be and in. He's in the, like, Ant-Man 4, which is like a few uh, People are movies away. But in the future. a version of him. Do we know he's been Kang. cast or is it rumored that he's been cast? I think it was on the IMDb. It, it, it could be a misdirection as to who he was mm-hmm. cast as, but there are also so many different versions right. of Let's Kang that there look. could be. But... Uh, it's also a way to maybe like chill those people out who are like, oh, why did you cast a black man as the human torch or whatever? 
Because yeah, they can say, all right, you're, you're, you're... Oh, just by show. Yeah. I love that they showed that Loki is can be, he can be a woman, he can be a black guy, he can be an alligator, yeah. he can be... So, oh, you're saying that is to try to show people out? Yeah. Int- like introduce maybe like multiverse? S- but it's so, like, so these well, people who Spider-Man already. are so dedicated to, like, the early, mostly white versions of all those people yeah. will maybe chill out because... Their little versions can still yeah, exist. Yeah, the world isn't like that anymore. But I feel like Kang before Jonathan Majors, like Wait, who's, some, that? who's Jonathan Majors? Jonathan Majors is the guy that's going to be Kang. Oh, he's the guy that's going to yeah. be. Uh-huh. Now, but he, I is feel, he famous already? Do we know yeah, him from something? Yeah. He was in Lovecraft Country. He's in um, man. Art is the human like, IMDb. I think. But I feel like I've seen a com a cartoon series where Kang was in it, where Kang was actually black. Once he took off his um. His helmet. But the thing is, even if he was the way the way certain cultures of nerds work, Mm -hmm. the same thing came out when Captain Marvel came out, and then someone else came out. There was a there was a subsection of nerds who were like, all of a sudden these these female uh, superheroes is it female empowerment? Like these they've existed. They're like they're not new. Like where have you been? You didn't read them. But there was more than Wonder Woman. Side note. Right. So it it doesn't matter what they gets just weren't cast. Made into big movies, then, even right? if they weren't. I mean, this was yeah. the beginning of big movies really coming out. There's just always a subsection of nerds who are always going to be sexist, racist, yeah. misogynist, and probably be shouldn't there, be socialized yeah. in the real world. Um, <laughs> well, they obviously haven't been yeah. because right. <laughs> they've probably been in the basement reading so, too many comics. Right. I think it's uh, there's always going to be, like Andy said, there are always going to be some angry people. There's also just some people who also don't have fulfilling lives. And so mm-hmm. what do you do with that? You get angry out. at things out. that aren't even in your circle of li- living. That's right. yeah. I'm going to get angry at Marvel. Now, Marvel doesn't care about you, Susan, in the basement. She doesn't know. <laughs> what are you doing, girl? Get off your keyboard. No, Susan. Marvel doesn't care. Like, it happened when, you guys know the commercial, Jake from State Farm. Yeah. When the Jakes changed, mm. I read the yeah. comments on the State Farm Instagram. It said, like, the official <laughs> State Farm Instagram. Because yeah. old Jake has been gone for a while. Yeah. Like, that actor went on and lived his life. That contract was done. It's been years since we had a Jake. They brought back new Jake last year during Super Bowl time, and people lost their shit. Is that the guy who was in the Drake one? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake, that's the new. That's the new Jake. But this Jake has more like there's more commercial, there's more social media content because yeah, that like didn't I can exist with that the guy. old. Like, I don't remember who the old one is. Well, yeah, it didn't that. exist. Some guy who just went khakis. Yeah. Oh, it was right. Like khakis yeah, yeah, right. He did. Yeah, ha- they right. didn't build content around him. They didn't build additional. This yeah, Jake, right. they're building They've more actually, around. Yeah. But it has nothing to do and with like, the yeah. actor. It's just yeah, like people are mad about that hey, Jake from State Farm. Let's Farm's bring a black Jake guy. back. People are mad about that. Oh, go- I urge you to go to State Farm because he runs his own Instagram account. But what happened was after the hiatus, there's just a post that's like, "I'm on my way back," yeah. and then the first post with him as Jake. Is just white people losing their shit, oh and it's it's. I'm not saying yeah. amazing as in like wow, but it is like y'all, yeah. y'all have to. It is a fictional character yeah. for an insurance From a stupid company. Commercial, and I am curious of what your existence in life looks like if you have all this time. And I don't mean a couple, and they're not all bots. Like these are oh, people. What everybody's obsessed are, about that? Who's oh, that? The ATT young. girls. Body shape and when she, yeah. oh, she's oh she's lost too much weight or oh she's too heavy or oh she's but I'm like if seat. that's you but that's like, how, that's stuff all over the internet about that but that's how uh, certain nerds are it doesn't matter yeah. what happens like how this series ends there's gonna be someone angry it doesn't matter what mm-hmm. phase four looks like there's gonna be someone angry yeah. it doesn't matter if you uh, colorblind cast anything they're gonna be they're gonna be angry it's people human, human nature inherently is. Yeah, doesn't like change, and I don't think it's a coincidence that the loudest people yelling are white men. Yeah, I don't think that's a coincidence. Um, And I saw something that put it best (laughs) yesterday. It said, "We live in a world where white men have never had to be likable. They've never had to prove themselves likable, right? Because they they make things. We created Mm -hmm. this system where we are the top, and we are now in a we're in an era where they have to be likable. They have to be accountable for their actions. They actually have to be able to do the jobs they're hired for." It's not as simple as it used to be, and that's causing a lot of distress. Yeah. No excuses to them because the rest of the world has figured out how to operate in this system. Yeah. But it is it is blowing their minds yeah, right the, now, and the they don't have good like, reactions. Uh, it, uh, when um, you have everything, uh, equality looks like oppression. Or when you're used to when you're accustomed to privilege, yeah, equality or equity 
yeah. feels, feels like, like oppression. Yeah. Yes. Like, yes. That's exactly what's happening. And I think yep. we can see that in nerd culture. Right. All over the place as more women and they're not becoming superheroes. They existed in the books. But, as, but they're getting and pushed they're up. Selling. Yeah, and yeah. they're selling. That's the cool Featured thing. Featured and yeah. selling well as as things like Black Panther came about. Like, yeah. oh, yeah. Look at but this. They were still so. It's like, is this a black empowerment movie? No, it literally is a, it's a movie based on a comic. <laughs> I mean, yes. Forever, yeah. the, the side note is black yeah. empowerment because we haven't seen that. Because you're finally putting it on the big screen. We haven't had a chance show, to go yeah. to the movies and show out. So, yes, yeah. we showed out in matching garbs yeah. and doing our things. <laughs> Because we hadn't yeah. had that opportunity. So let's keep it going. And there's, and there's always the white nerds going, ah, they're forced diversity. And they're yeah, yeah. shoving this wokeness yeah, down my throat. Well, yeah. like, but there is a lot if, of... If so you there, ever say that, you've automatically just outed yourself as a piece of shit. So to wrap it up, there are still a lot of happy people. We're talking about the negativity, but there's still a lot of people that are yeah. happy. Oh, yeah. And Marvel, it is All now... Time. It was, we talked about It's bigger than ever. So, But the yeah. other day, I just got overwhelmed again. I realized this is like Black Widow is the 24th. Is that right? Or twenty sixth uh, movie in the twenty seventh, I think. Because oh no, twenty fourth. So my question for you guys is: Where do you think Marvel is on its trajectory? Like, it's gonna, it's gonna get old, right? It's gonna Not eventually go down. Is it just gonna stay up forever? Like, it's gonna be. Are we like at the top right now? The very peak, or is it starting to decline at all? I don't like think it, it's, it's interest. And in it all depends on how they pull it off, and like if they reinvent themselves as they mm-hmm. go forward, or if uh, they. Because they do very much seem to be into the risk taking element now with the you know the but new I, series. I think they're a way of capturing the younger generation too, which is smart of them. Because some yeah. people just keep making content. I think that's why we keep getting a lot of content for the younger generation coming into this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it just seems overwhelming. Like I open up Disney Plus, I'm just like, well, I can't. I don't know to begin. Much. And my wife looks at it like, boy, it's just all Marvel. It's just Marvel everywhere. I like, well, I'm on the Marvel tab. <laughs> but it's like, yeah. I know there's so much I can't even like begin, like if I wanted to just pick a Marvel movie to but watch. But they're, they're a like, machine oh, oh, oh. and they're run by a machine of right. Disney and you could have said this 30 years ago, like, will Disney fail? And they have not always had high top yeah. years, but they're still Disney at the end of the day. I guess what I'm saying is, are they becoming a dime a dozen, the Marvel movies? No. Are they just like, ah, just another Marvel movie. There's a mm. million of them. There, there's a sect of people who are like that. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't give a shit about Marvel movies, and that's fine. I like them all, and there's a lot of people if that are going find to watch them, like them because you just like you're like ScarJo. <clears throat> Hell yeah, I'm yeah. going to watch it, and you you could and not care, care about Marvel. Yeah. There's a it's just a good movie for you to watch, and yeah. so I think that's also they where they win. In one ear you and out the other. Have to think like you watch Black Panther, and you don't have to know the rest. My mama was at Black Panther; she don't know a damn thing about Marvel, <laughs> but she was there and she excited. Liked it? She did, yeah. See, but I think that's where they're they're smart. You do not have to know right. their content to like any one of their movies. And that's and, what they're good the, at. That's and, what they're good at doing, yeah. I feel like. Yeah, and there's there's still that sect of people who don't know yet to stay till after the credits. Yeah. Yeah. They will get up and leave. But yeah. those people also don't give a shit, probably, right? They're not going to get it anyway. Yeah, but they're, they're just not going to blow movie. their mind. They have gone to a Marvel movie, yeah. Yeah. so they're, uh, there's enough appeal for them to go to it. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, not but you know if to they buy wait. into the mythology, oh, to, yeah. Yeah. you know, right. oh, I better stay into the credits to find out the next thing. Or they don't care. Like they're like, oh, yeah. I know they do something after the credits, but, but that's that the thing. Mean Marvel to me. still made their money, whether you stay for the credits or not. Yeah. So that's the, that's why I don't think they're they're not going to crash because their movies can stand alone as standalone movies. Do you think they'll ever crash? All mm, worlds crash. Things come to an end. But I wow, think, that was deep. <laughs> regimes change every day. Yeah, but Seasons I think change. I think <laughs> because they are very formulated and most of their movies stand alone, you don't have to know the world to just go to. How, how many people went to watch uh, Spider Man because Zendaya was in it? Uh, I know a lot. <laughs> Zendaya oh, when she became yeah, yeah, but when <laughs> you. Don't hang on to that. Oh, we will fight. My daughter loves She's good in Euphoria, but is Mary Jane? Yeah. Stop it. But oh, there are. Man, she's MJ. Into that one. She's not Mary Jane. Yeah, she's just MJ. MCU? Is that one in the MCU or not? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it is. So we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah. Okay. But my point is, people were fans of her, right? So they went to see the movie. Marvel does a really good job of who they cast. Yeah, that's smart. And how they build their movies. So bring you, in somebody to bring in a different. Necessarily link they well, we know they're all linked, but to general, hey, there's a new movie out. Yeah. Oh, Scar Joe's in a new movie. 
Some people don't even know it's a Marvel movie. They just go, ScarJo's in a new Scar movie. ScarJo, ScarJo. Kick it Johnson. ass. <laughs> Let's do it. Yes. I don't hear anybody call her ScarJo. Big right. slam bang action movies. Yes. That's the business. Uh, well, those, summer, those every are, summer. Yeah, every summer. Every summer. Yeah. Yeah. So people are going to watch them and not even take on the Marvel title. T- it's it's just and it, they're like a new this. level now. I almost feel like they've broken it for anyone else. Like, what other big slam bang movie are you going to see that's not Marvel at this point? Like, I think that is the big criticism is like everything yeah. has to be a franchise now and everything yeah. has to tie into a greater mythology and like you can't really, it's harder to do. Stand yeah, everybody stand wants it to be. Because everyone's films. expecting. Yeah, anything yeah. you see, you're going to want it to be that. I do. I definitely. Or like but I want that, you with, like, you I want want that with every movie. Can't stand alone. I want yeah. every, I want Beaches to be uh, tied to uh, yeah, Cannonball Row. Joe, yeah, Joe Verse. <laughs> the Joe Verse. Joe Verse. Yeah. So maybe, maybe no. Don't make, try and Joe versus Loki. We need to make movies. But all right, all right. I can make okay. a movie. Let's, let's, no, round the, round the, movie. real quick, real quick, round real quick, the horn, round the real horn. quick. Just about what the Kang you, thing. Yeah. And this is this is kind of dorky and nerdy. I like it. But um, <laughs> so Jonathan Majors is playing Kang the Conqueror, and Earth's Ant Man, right? I mean, yeah, Ant Man. He's and, gonna and be Quantumania, Ant-Man. which is another Quantumania is the yeah. microverse. Time passes differently, okay. as we learned in the okay. Ant-Man movies. So that could also tie into the crazy okay. chrono- mm-hmm. chronological so, stuff. Jonathan Majors played Kang the Conqueror um, in Earth's Mightiest Heroes Avengers cartoon series. Oh boy, <laughs> Kang is in that. Kang has a couple of episodes in that, a couple of storylines in that show. Mm. Um, he's played by Jonathan Adams. Two Jonathan's playing Kang. Jonathan Adams is, You're I don't know if you know, but... joe verse kind of thing right now. Kind of, not necessarily, yeah, no, but like... I'm, I'm following, but Jonathan, I'm, barely, I'm barely following. Jonathan Adams is a black guy. Mm-hmm. So my thing was that, like, I guess, tech, like, I don't know, as an artist, sometimes when I look at certain characters, like, you can almost... You can feel... Not like, even, not even, sometimes, doing. even before they talk, the way some of the people used... They, some of the way they animate certain characters, you can look at them and get, they give them black features. Right. So even if they're like an alien... And then you look at him like, okay, this might be a black person. And then when they speak, and I guess we haven't necessarily got to that point where it's like, you know, like how she's talking about how like different characters play, how they switch up the characters. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times you see certain characters, like the voice actors, to me, they're still associated with their representation. So like if yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. so you look, that, yeah. like you look at him like, okay, he starts talking like, ah, there's a black guy voicing this character in my mind, even if he has a mask on, right. that automatically kind of makes him a black person. I, I couldn't get past when Destro was a white guy. I was like, yeah, uh, he, yeah. he was voiced by a black actor as one of her kids. Yeah, like, but, in, deep in, voice, but in, in, even, white even when you look at him, like his facial features say, "I'm I'm of African American descent." Yeah, but my my thing is, oh, wait, was I, oh yeah, so where were you? <laughs> so <laughs> it's just like the whole thing where people sit in the same like Kang is this, Kang is that. You know, you have. Oh, and also Jonathan Adams is Chuck Larrabee from Last Man Standing. I don't know if you guys know what Last Man Standing is, but the yeah. show with Tim Allen. Oh, God, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was but, thinking that. But yeah, yeah it, was just, it was just weird to me that like there are two Jonathans <laughs> who were both black playing Kang who... Oh, that's is, weird. Yeah. Both named Jonathan. Right, right. The, 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 the... But like, even, real quick, even like Apocalypse. Apocalypse, I feel like he he's... So, so supposedly, sometimes he's considered the first mutant. Who? Apocalypse. That's a character. That's X Men. X Men. But you know, he he. I'll, I'll hang they on. they put him in like a. They give him like this whole like Egyptian kind of thing vibe or whatever. But his character, even though he's always blue skinned. Yeah. If you look at him, African American, African descent. Right. You know, whereas we had like That's Oscar Egypt, Isaac. Egypt yeah, is yeah, in yeah, Africa. Yeah. yeah. We have Oscar Isaac. <laughs> is it though? Because Cleopatra yeah. sure looked vanilla. Exactly. When exactly. Elizabeth Taylor Ooh, showed snap. up on yeah. screen. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, they, they tanned and that's her. another reason. Yeah. Like Kang goes back in time. Uh-huh. Uh, like before he really becomes Kang, he, mm-hmm. he goes back in time and becomes Rama Tut and mm-hmm. an Egyptian pharaoh. Yep. In, yep. in so, the comics, you're yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah. And that's okay. just one of the big versions of Kang that like are. Uh, but you know, people so people are not gonna they, they're not gonna they're just gonna be like, okay, this, why they make this black guy the villain kind of thing? So and then you're gonna have the black people say like, why black people always got to be the bad guy kind of thing? But go if Kang shows up and he's not the guy who was cast in Ant Man, Jonathan, that would be the, stupid. That, that would, would ruin everybody. But I feel like right? Marvel knows better. So yeah. but at the same time, but it all it's would, it, would it be a variant? That's true. He yeah. could be. There's so and many. We are dealing with variants. Yeah, so you never so know. It could be a very variant. variant. There could be an alligator Kang. Hey, the alligator could have been behind this the entire right. time. 
That's I'm surprised true. I didn't right, read anything right, about right. people saying but, how Boastful Thor was black. Like who? Boastful Thor, the bald Thor. That was uh, that, that was, was a version of Loki. That was Loki. Yeah. I mean, that's I mean Loki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but okay. the fact you know what it threw me off because I remember he had the hammer because he had the hammer. Yeah. Right. Because he took oh, it yeah, from he his did brother. Have hammer. He took yeah, it from his yeah. brother. Okay. I don't know yeah. why I screamed Boastful Thor when it clearly said Boastful Loki in the credit. But he was the only guy that didn't have, or maybe he had a helmet. He didn't but have not horns. all had Most horns of them had on. Horns, different kinds. Yeah, and of why horns. would he hide that on like just different, different? Well, I was going to side note. I am in love with Tom Hiddleston. You heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, just watching him run and the way his hair was flowing, <laughs> I was like, man crush one on one. That's wow. like Tom go. Hiddleston's Loki had a really strong undercurrent of like fangirls and stuff. Yeah, just, really like, in love. But with see, him. I didn't, really? I didn't, I didn't yeah. notice it until this, this series. Like when I saw him watching, and I guess. In that moment, I had the same feeling some nerds probably had when they saw Megan Fox in that Transformer movie where they had her running in slow mo for some reason. <laughs> she sucked in the Transformer, but like for some reason, like oh look at Megan Fox run at the spike in the slow mo. Like yeah, you felt that with you Loki. felt that with Tom <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hiddleston. Uh, he Hiddleston. does have a large fangirl base who are truly in love with Loki. Okay. Uh, I do want to point out that in the series, he Loki does admit to being bi. Yes. Yeah, that's, right. yeah, that's was a, a big that's deal. A, we, we totally missed that. It was like episode two yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah it that, was My fantastic. daughter told me that before Well, people have I been asking, it. like, it, of all the Avengers characters, <laughs> this one makes sense but, I mean, to I be get, a part of LGBTQ. I've always got that in just reading some of the stuff yeah. in the comics But no one's, like, Loki. said it yeah. out loud. They have and it, I yeah. think it meant a lot to a community to be said out yeah. loud. Yeah. Like, like, to this point, I think the only gay character in any of the MCU was, like, that one guy who's played by one of the directors in the support group in Endgame. Yeah. And... Uh, I don't know if there's been another one that I can't think of one off the top no, of my head. No, so I th- this was a big like plus to have it said out loud, yeah, yeah. have yeah. it said by a major, uh, excuse me, major company like yeah. Marvel, and then give some representation. It's, it's sad. I don't that think that's anyone did state, not yeah. not know it. Again, it's very clear. I did not. Know. Loki. Wait, uh, did I think not, about not. the scene where he was being worshipped back to the last yeah. uh, Ragnarok when he was like lounging and being fed grapes and mm-hmm. oh, you all the people surrounding Joe him. Joe hasn't seen Ragnarok. Okay. Well, I just can't believe There's that. hints that Loki <laughs> has been on the LG- it is a part of LGBTQ for a long time. Okay. But getting oh, it said so out been, loud but said it, right. is Ama- like think about people who are underrepresented in any way. Like when it's said out loud, I had a twelve-year-old girl visible. tell me he was bi uh, because she, her dad saw the thing before I yeah. watched it. You need to get woke, Joe. She's like, oh, I'm gonna watch Loki. Oh, she's he's bisexual, and she walked. It was my actually my daughter's friend that was spending the night. Yeah. I was like, oh, he bis- what? <laughs> she's, how do you know? I don't know what? why that's the first thing, but maybe that's I all mean, she said about it. It's, it's like, a representation. Well, I'm sure for at their some house, people. Yeah, yeah. at their house, it was probably a conversation. And I think that was a probably. plus. So I think um, our house it wouldn't be. Yeah. But. So rock on Disney slash Marvel. Yeah. Or, so it does, uh, yeah, it's a sad situation that that means so much. It shouldn't have to. But we it's live good in this world yeah, where representation yeah. matters. And so you were gonna say you want everybody to go around and do what? I was gonna say like all right, round the horn, like. A baseball a thought analogy. and a prediction on Loki. Nolan Ryan and nerds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was gonna say um, one thing I really liked about it, like as when the you know the political badge wearing Loki found their hideout and. It, and mm-hmm. I, I loved that all right. like the Lokis were like doing a big backstabbing festival, yes. and then the Loki we've been following is just realizing how fucking annoying it is to be all the, right. that the Loki, all the time. Like, Lokis, yeah. just all his worst traits, just yeah. so Showing petty up. and shitty, right? Which is what he's been. Yes, uh, I really liked that as a bit, and it really sells his character growth. Mm-hmm. Whether or not there's actually going to be that growth, right. or if he's going to backslide, or what. Uh, remains to be seen and you can actually see him being affected by himself but but that the teenage version of loki uh we don't know what's happened to that guy yet and that is the looks like the version that is part of the young avengers group where the avengers have kind of fallen apart that's Mm -hmm. all this is is establishing all those new young guys because wandavision had her kids right yeah Yeah. falcon winter soldier had Had the little 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 brother or the little the grandson nephew Nephew. yeah grandson uh we've we've got young loki yeah Um, yeah. that's what this coming up we've got kate bishop's hawkeye yeah in the hawkeye series chavez america chavez in uh uh, which is that the doctor strange movie she's gonna be in or is that i I forgot 
That's but then right. you have Iron Heart, set up all these young America Chavez, yeah, which yeah. is yeah, but they're the doing generation. it in a way that doesn't. You don't if you're not looking at it, you don't you're not paying it. attention. Yeah. I wouldn't you just, notice it when they come out. You'll be like, ah, if you weren't looking. Yeah, and Kang as. Iron Lad, when yeah. they do that, yeah. if he comes in as like a, a hero version of his younger self that's trying to fight his evil older self. That's a thing from comics? Yeah. Okay. He's trying not to become the version of his self that he's destined to be. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually enjoy this show. I like any show that digs into like family dynamics and emotional upbringing and emotional intelligence. So I do appreciate this show because every character has had to face um, themselves even though Loki faces 10 versions of himself. Right. But even Sylvie has to think about who she is. Even uh, the people at the TVA have to think about. We went through a couple people at the TVA waking up, so to speak, and, and going, wait yeah. a minute, what am I, yeah. what am I actually serving? Um, so I think, for me, I love watching an emotional awakening, and every character, even Loki, has had an emotional awakening in this series, and that's one of my favorite things to watch yeah. in general. Like I, I just like that. I really like that bit, and I think it was the maybe the first episode where he was like, "I don't enjoy hurting people." Yeah, it's it's part of the illusion created by the weak. To I can't remember the line. But yeah, like that is the most self awareness he's. And so I do, yeah, every, and everyone's had to do it. The guards who are, you know, who've been interacting with Sylvie or Loki B-15. have had to do it. Um, the uh, What's the first guard? B- uh, C-24. C yeah, they all had to wake up in a sense and stop just blindly walking through life, which I think is a good thing yeah. to watch. And C- they've handled it well. Like they handle the emotional parts yeah. as well as they're handling the the uh, superhero y, villain y, fighty parts. Mm-hmm. So that's what I enjoy about the series. <laughs> villain y, fighty parts. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I love that. If you want to get technical, yeah. um, that's the term. <laughs> but no, I do like that part of the series. I do like a good backstory on anything. Um, anytime I watch a movie, even if it's like the first movie and not a hero, I always go back to figure out if there was a backstory, what that backstory was, if it was placed in a historical time. So I love a good backstory, no matter if they're good or bad people. I do like a good backstory. So <laughs> that's what I'm enjoying about the series. And again, mm-hmm. I really think it's going to be one of the Lokis, specifically classic Loki. All right. Because that's C- Richard E. C- Grant, C- the bad guy from Hudson C- 20, yeah, I yeah. yeah. I was driving us because I was like, it was something. Uh, they just, numbers and letters, which was yeah, weird So you me. think classic Loki, did his big heroic sacrifice wasn't the end of him. It's nope. going to be, he's going to turn out to be the I think it looks bad. like the end of him, but it wasn't really. Okay. In fact, he could conjure an entire Asgard. It was, it was pretty cool. I, right. I, you might be right, but I also thought that that was just a really cool way to to pay homage to the original. Yeah. I mean, I might be wrong, but again, he original. was the one Loki we got the most backstory on in that episode. Mm-hmm. And we seem to have focused a lot on him. But again, this is Marvel, and they like to throw curveballs at yeah. you, and you I just do. never yeah. know. That's so right. that's just Tiffany's prediction. Yeah. Right. I, I, I think it's the classic Loki, but then I think that this is going to be the one where Marvel really says, fuck it. It is Kang. We're not going to dick around with... Trying to make it seem like it, all this big lead up. We did it with one division. We're not going to do that this time. We're just going to, you know, we're going to give all this extra exposition with classic Loki. And for someone like me who noticed the debris flying, make it seem like, hey, he's, you know, it's, and he, he, I mean, I guess it was also, it was like his, his glorious purpose, the reason why he laughed when he disintegrated. But did he disintegrate? Did he do like, as they do in anime, uh, transformation jitsu? Don't know. Okay. But I'm just saying, I, it, it, I think right, it's, right. it could be Classic Loki or it could be Kang. <laughs> so judgment. you just took each of our answers. Fitty, fitty. But, but I mean, <laughs> that, that's, the, that's the way they, they, yeah. they portrayed it. So it's, it's like, I could have sided with Tiff. I could have sided with Andy. You would never I, side yeah, with it's, me. It's, I mean, hey, hey, hey. I, I, I don't know if it's cl- Classic Loki or a new version of Loki. It would yeah. make more sense than classic Loki, I, but it also I, I, is the, the is it too predictable to be that. That's true. You, yeah. uh, sometimes sometimes predictability, when they make it too predictable, it's like... Andy, make sure you're talking to the microphone. Oh, sorry. Sometimes when it's too predictable, it's, it's like, it may be too predictable, but like, eh, you know, it is what it is kind of thing. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. So, and, but then and also, like, depending on the, the runtime in this episode, I don't necessarily see them introducing another 
Vying it. Mm. Or some, like, I'm, like I, I can't see like all this boom, 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 bam, bam, 60 minutes, <laughs> 45 minute mark. Oh, all along it was another, I don't see. I don't. Yeah. I don't see them doing it all along. It was Agatha thing with this. Yeah, that's what makes me think it could be like a like a big Chris Hemsworth uh, guest star bomb. Like mm. Thor yeah. is so. I do feel like we're to missing the Loki that idea. We're missing right. like a big guest star that we didn't know about. But I, maybe they'll save Kang mm-hmm. for like the post credit sting. Oh, that's and, true. Uh, like mm-hmm. because there's so much Did in you there. Post credit sting. Is that what it's called? Or sting? Por- whatever. I just say the post you know. Is that a thing people say? You call you it a sting that? like a... Ooh, do people the... call... I'm asking you, do people call it a sting or did you just say that for the first time just now? I just said it for the first time right now. For, okay. Some people <laughs> might, okay. we, we, but I'm not saying it's bad. Hey. I'm just, I just wondered if it was a thing. But, but we can... Copyright it right now I'm, as I'm, a nerd school Trademark sting. Right. I'm hoping, if we start saying the post credit sting, I'm hoping we get a post credit sting in this episode because I was kind. Of, you like, meant go, to say thing, right? You accidentally no, said no, sting. I said, oh. Like sting, it's it's kind of a term for like a like a brief. Uh, That's from now on. We all call it that. And we're gonna post credit thing. I, I, I just dropped it. I just all dropped. Right, it. You did. You just did. Sting. But like, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I was kind of disappointed that we didn't get a post post credit sting after this episode because. After the first I think one, whatever they're telling us has got to be so it big. Was like, they were like, boom. wait. And then, like, at the end of this episode, I was watching. I was watching. Waiting for it. And then, like, wait, but mm-hmm. you gave us one last time. <laughs> no, I think they did it on purpose. And they whatever put they that. have to say, it's big, bigger than mm-hmm. letting us get a sneak peek. Well, yeah, they, that was really just a sneak peek. That last yeah. one was at the beginning of the next one. So it was really. See, anyway, that's, can we wrap this up now? Yeah. Wrap this episode but, up? Hold on. It who should be a mortis. Who do you think? I I have to keep with Mobius because yeah, that's my. I think it's Mobius is, the whole time. I think it's gonna be Mobius, but now I feel stupid that I I didn't know I didn't know Mobius was already a character. Did you look him up? Did you well, see like yeah, I looked he's him based, up. After he's almost tips, like so. the way they have him set up is like almost like a clone. Like yeah. all of the TV he's, agents kind of look like. Well, that he's in he's in the comics, and they they even he's have him look a certain way. Like the reason he's got the mustache is that's what you know, mm-hmm. he's, yeah he's supposed to look like Mark. Gruenwald, yep. Whoever that is, the he's uh, uh, a a big uh, Marvel creator. He did a lot of yeah. the Falcon Winter Soldier. So stuff it's a I bad prediction, about. but I made it before I knew. Hey, that hey, that was hey! A thing, but you, you never me. know. It's it's called Marvel. You don't. But know. But you guys all said that could happen. I just feel like Anything he's suspicious. Like he's something else. I thought it, at first I thought he was going to be a Loki, but now I might as well say it seems like we're guessing who Kang is. I right? Mean, are we who guessing who Kang is, or we guess who the bad guy is? Whatever it is, I think it's him. Who's behind the TV? So maybe maybe he's not Kang, but maybe but he's, he's behind, behind the curtain. He's yeah. behind everything. Yeah. Okay, boom! I think that's everyone's predictions yeah, and feelings. Did. So that's that's a wrap until the season finale when we all jump in and see who was right and, and who was wrong. Yeah, just how wrong they were. Too. Either that, or it's going to be Howard the Duck, and then the alligator's just going to eat him. <laughs> That'll be boom. fun. And that leads into our next episode. Yeah. So stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned for our Howard the Duck episode, our first movie that was a, a choice at the end of the last season, which is surprisingly a Marvel movie. It is a Marvel movie, yes. sort of. Sort of kind All of right. It's yeah. not an MCU though, or is it? No, no. no. it's nineteen eighty. No, it's no we'll <laughs> talk about that next episode. Stay tuned. Bow, bow. Howard the Duck. <laughs> da, 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 da. Shouldn't you be singing Loki? Something about Loki. No. Loki. Loki. There are no Loki songs. Of my kids been by the prisons and people thinking this election to end it racism. Proud of a pessimism, glad to see Obama, but don't expect me not to speak out when I still see problems. The Nerd School Podcast. Nerd School is a member of the Queen City Podcast Network, powered by Ortho Carolina. Now offering video visits so you can take control of your orthopedic care from the comfort of your home. Schedule online at orthocarolina.com. Ortho Carolina, you improved. <laughs> Listen, people can make fun of me for my holiday movies all we want to, but I'm like, are you alive? Did I fuss at you today? <laughs> Did I yell about anything? All right, then. You're welcome. You better thank Hallmark for keeping me safe. <laughs>